This little 10 megahertz distribution board is part of a GPS Geo project which I am doing for myself. This is a completely open source project. So link to the source is available in the video description. This is the distribution board. It has one input and six possible outputs. Right now only four of the outputs are populated. Two outputs are here. These footprints are for SMA or MCX connector. All of the outputs are isolated from one another. So each output has one isolation transformer. This little, this little two pin connector is power connector. Three pin connector is meant for the GPS TO. This, there's a 10 volt regulator for the op amps. Op amp we are using here is AD8009. I have made two versions of this board. Previously I was using LM7171. LM7171 also has pretty decent output current because of the power supply limitations and relatively low output swing of the LM7171. I could not able to use that op amp so I switched to analog device AD8009. There are three of these chips. These two chips are driving the front section. One chip is driving two of these and another chip is driving two of these. There is a LAN pattern for third of the third of the output driver which is meant for these two channels. The op amp is an input pre-buffer. There is a little LC filter you can see. As you can see in the circuit, this this is the LAN pattern for input BSC connector. This is the LAN pattern for MCX, SMA and MMCX connector. This is the input LC filter and op amp pre-buffer. And then there is a LAN pattern for second filter. This filter was not required. The first filter was efficient enough. So this second filtering was not required. If you want, you can mount it yourself. And the output of this output of this op amp is directly fed into these two op amp. And the third op amp if if two extra channels are also used. This section here is USB to serial converter. This microcontroller here performs two tasks. One is to USB to serial conversion. Second is parsing the incoming messages and displaying the appropriate value onto the OLED display. And it also monitors the user interface switch and turn on the appropriate LED if a fault condition occurs. This is the micro USB connector. When board is in enclosure, this micro USB connector is not used. USB cable will be directly connected to a header here. This connector here is UART connector for the GPS tube module. This little chip is an input buffer for UART signals. This MMCX connector is for one PPS. This connector is for PPS in input into the board. The PPS coming from the GPS2 module is 5 volt PPS. And this is the output. If you want 3.3 volt PPS, you can mount a little buffer chip here and it will be a 3.3 volt output. PPS line from here is also going into the user interface board on the front. This LAN pattern here is meant for the connector for user interface. There is a connector on the back also, which is also meant for user interface. This is the ICSP connector. This is one of the GPS GPSTO module what I have. And this distribution board is supposed to go right above it. And, and the dimension of distribution board are correctly matched to the dimension of this GPS GPSTO module. You can exactly fit both of the modules on top of one another. 10 MHz output to here. And PPS distribution board supposed to go into an enclosure from Hammond for that I also made one little front panel display port which consists of one OLED and four LED displays and one user interface switch this is the front of the user interface port and this is the back of the user interface port these headers here will directly connect into our distribution board back panel something like this This is how our board under test looks like. One of the outputs from the distribution amplifier is connected to spectrum analyzer and second output is terminated using 50 ohm terminator and we are feeding in 10 MHz signal using this MCX connector and board is currently powered with my bench power supply and this BNC cable directly goes into my function generator. Output of the distribution amplifier is connected to my oscilloscope spectrum analyzer input which is already 50 ohm terminated. 